Will the weather be helping or hindering for the big Christmas getaway this year? And it is going to be big, bigger than last year. Uh, the RAC, our friends at the RAC who work with transport analytic specialists in RICS, have crunched the numbers and suggest that Friday and Saturday will be the busiest days with 7.9 million journeys planned. Thursday will be a busy day, but the weather shouldn't be too severe. Fog is likely to be the biggest issue. Murky conditions across much of England and Wales. Some of the higher routes could see some poor visibility. A little bit of patchy rain. Further north, most places dry, just the odd shower coming in. But Friday will be one of the busiest days, and look at this some heavy rain coming in. Initially to the southwest, the parts of the M5 and the A303 could be sticking points, but the rain will be clearing from here. For the morning rush hour, the M25 looking pretty soggy along with the M40, and that rain then working through the morning up northwards across the M1, affecting the M6 and the M60. Again, according to Inrix, likely to be sticking points during the uh, Christmas period. That rain then drifting northwards across northern England and into northern Ireland as we go through. Friday. A lot of spray and surface water on the roads, but actually for most of Scotland, we might see one or two wintry showers, but generally here Friday looks dry. Wherever we see showers, it could be icy in Scotland. And then here, uh, there could be some snow on the higher routes, say the A9, for example, on Christmas Eve. Elsewhere on Christmas Eve, Saturday, it's a case of uh, rain showers. They'll be fairly heavy and moving through fairly briskly on a gusty wind. Not good for high-sided vehicles. That's being created by this area of low pressure, which is moving in through the Christmas period, bringing milder air for Christmas Day, at least initially. But look at this, the blues returning. It will turn colder at some point as we head towards Boxing Day, bringing back the threat of icy conditions and maybe a little bit of uh, snow too. So for the longer range, 25th to the 27th, a mild start, then turning colder. Some snow is possible in places, mostly in the northwest. The main advice, stay up to date with the forecast and please check your vehicle before you head out. Lots of really good advice on the RAC website about how to do that and lots of advice on the Met Office website about how to prepare your car and your home for severe weather during winter.